everyone, I wanted to come on here and share a couple dreams that I had had. My dream I was given in August, August 13th of 2020. I was vacationing in Africa. They were, there were beautiful sights. I took a picture of an animal that I'd never seen before. Um, I was sitting with my friends and we were talking about penny candy. Um, penny candy, we'd pay a penny and get a Swedish fish at baseball games or um, Sour Patch Kids and things like that. So for like a dollar, you'd get 100 pieces of candy. So we were talking about it as if it had to be boxed up. Um, it had to be boxed up soon because of the virus. And we'd better stock up on it because that meant that the prices were going up. And you wouldn't be able to get as much for the price we can now. Um, the scene changed. We were on the beach. And my daughter was on a, a waterboard. She was riding it like she had for years. And she's six years old. Um, she hit the ocean water just a little, right at the shoreline, very shallow water, um, and she, she was gliding through the water. And the next time around, she gets caught in the water. And not necessarily caught, but she just stopped. I could see her bright pink bikini as she's face down in a crawling position, and in the dream I felt she was doing this willingly. The water is maybe a couple inches over her back as she's wading instead of standing up. I'm running to her, but I cannot move fast enough through to get to her as the wall of water stood to the left. It was so high and still, and it had colors like fabric pieces within. Um, the wall of water, it looked like as if you're looking at the, the surface of a river, but it's vertical, and it was completely still, and it just had pieces of fabric in it. In the dream, I had a knowing that those other pieces of fabric were other children. Um, I was not afraid of the wall of water um, because I felt I would just dive through it. Like when you dive through a wave, a big wave, I would just dive through it. Um, my daughter stayed in her position peacefully as she chose not to stand. And then my dream ended. Again, that was August of 2020. Um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, has had dreams that I also want to share with you because I feel we're getting so many confirmations um, to share now and um, it's been put on my in my spirit to to share so my daughter was trying to remember a time and she knew and this is also in 2020 October of 2020 she knew that it was in the one o'clock hour but she couldn't think of any other time the time she was stuck on was 188, which is not a time at all, but she couldn't think past that number. So we looked it up. Um, in Hebrew, it means whoa. And in Greek, it means at the present point in time. She also had a dream of a tsunami. She woke up very shaken. And just the day prior to, um, on October 20th of 2020, she had a dream that I was explaining, that I was explaining everything to my family after the first fruits rapture, and that they actually started to listen, and that it went very well. I want to add that although the tsunami would be worrisome, she said that the dream was very calm. I had, I had that dream, um, about Africa in Africa and I have to say it was a very serene dream as well I hope me sharing this um, encourages you all to stay calm peaceful and know that Jesus is on the throne always and we have the victory I love you all and I pray that you all have a blessed day